Question 1. Explain what is the role of respiratory care? Answer. During emergency, respiratory therapist provides assistance and help to people who are unable to breathe due to injury or illness. The role of the respiratory therapist is to assume primary responsibility for all respiratory care. It includes oxygen therapy, breathing treatments, humidity aerosol therapy, mechanical ventilation, cardiopulmonary resuscitation and pulmonary drainage system. Question 2. Explain what is aerosol? Answer. A suspension of solid or liquid particles in a gas is known as aerosol. Example of aerosol includes dust particles, air pollutant, pollens etc. Question 3. Explain why aerosol therapy is given. Answer. Aerosol therapy is given to treat upper airway edema, overcome heat and humidity deficit in patients with tracheal airways and to help to get sputum specimens. Question 4. What are important parts in the upper airway of human? Human respiratory system. Answer. Principal components of upper airway of human respiratory system is nose nose offering so offering larynx offering larynx. Question 5. Explain what is anticholinergic? Answer. Anticholinergic agent is a chemical substance which blocks the neurotransmitter acetylcholine in the peripheral and the central nervous system. Question 6. List out the consequences of inadequate humidification. Answer. Inadequate humidification causes decreased ciliary activities and mucus movement, inspiration of mucus, mucosa inflammation, bacterial infiltration, pneumonia and atelectasis, inspiration of mucus. Question 7. Explain what are the tools used by respiratory therapist? Answer. Various tools used by respiratory therapist are ventilators. Ventilators are machines that breathe for the patients who are not able to breathe on their own and allows respiratory therapist to fix the amount of air and pressure required by the patient. Spirometer. To measure the patient's lung capacity spirometer is used. Where a patient has to blow all the air from their lungs, from the patient's blowing ability, their injury or illness severity can be predicted. Blood gas analyzer. Normal human being contains around 95-100% to 100 of oxygen. Blood gas analyzer checks the amount of oxygen from the blood specimen. Anything below 100% is considered as a complication. Volumetric exerciser. To increase the lung efficiency and to bring back the normal rhythm of breathing in ill patient. Volumetric exerciser is used. Inhaler and nebulizer. Patient having asthma attack and other breathing problems. Inhalers and nebulizer are used to administer the medication. Question 8. Mention what are five mechanisms for adding humidity to a gas artificially? Answer. To add water vapor to gas. These are the methods used. Bubble. Passover. Wick. Membrane humidifier. Heat and moisture exchanger. Question 9. Explain why humidity therapy is necessary when supplemental oxygen is given to patient. Answer. Alone supplemental oxygen can result in drying of the airways and reduce the cilia mobility. So in order to avoid this humidity therapy is given. Question 10. Explain what is bronchospasm. Answer. The immediate contraction of the muscles in the walls of the bronchioles is referred as bronchospasm. It is activated when there is a release of substances from mast cells or basophils. It causes problems in breathing which can range from severe to mild. Classic example of bronchospasm is asthma. Question 11. Mention what is the treatment for bronchospasm? Answer. The treatment involves administering the patient with drugs with B blockers drugs. This drug will bind with B2 receptors and block the action of norepinephrine and epinephrine which causes the shortness of breath. Question 12. Explain what bronchodilator is and how it is used. Answer. Bronchodilator is a compound that dilates the bronchioles and bronchi, results in decreasing of resistance in the respiratory airway and at the same time increasing the airflow to the lungs. Question 13. Mention the advantages of having respiratory therapy. Answer. It helps patient to identify the actual reason behind the respiratory disorder and can opt for a solution like nutritional assessments, allergies towards any particular food items, strategies for feeding, oxygen treatment, prophylactic antibiotics, encourages airway function, nebulizers, inhalers and intubation. There are few secondary conditions as well that can be diagnosed and treated like cough or cold. Breathing conditions like asthma, identifies gastrointestinal complications, sleep apnea. Question 14. What should patient do if they caught an asthma attack and had no medication? Answer. If patient has no medication when there is asthma 
asthma attack, he could follow the following things, stay calm as much as possible, take long and deep breath, breath out through mouth and breath in through nose, identify the trigger component and get away from it, sit upright pending or sleeping may worsen the attack, take hot caffeinated beverage, 